Yeah, hello. Yes, my friend, how are you? I'm very fine. I'm actually calling from Nigeria. That's wonderful, my friend. How is Nigeria doing? Nigeria is very, very fine. Very fine. I heard that the Muslims are kidnapping girls and Boko Haram following the Prophet Allah of Allah's steps. Uh, well, if you're going to start like that, uh, I can still tell you that uh, Boko Haram does not represent Islam. Why they don't represent Islam? Those, do, do, yes, yes, those are those are religious extremists. We have them in almost all religions. Mm. We have them in Christianity. Really? Yes. Where, where in Christianity yeah. we have Boko Haram? No, you don't understand what I mean. I, I never said Christianity has Boko Haram. What I'm saying is that Boko Haram are religious extremists of Islam. Okay, what makes them As extremists for you? What makes them extremists for you? Yes, it's because they 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 went they went to. As in too far. I'm not going to say it now. They, 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 they were, they, they were, they were, they were. They... Hello. Mm, I lost him. Close your app, my friend, so we can hear you. Say again, please, if you are, if you hear me. Are you there? Hello? Yeah, I'm sorry. It's, uh, this is not so problem. It's all right. No problem. I understand. My friend, so uh -oh. a terrorist, a terrorist, he don't present Islam, correct? Yes. Okay. What Wasn't your prophet a terrorist himself? No. Okay. Okay. Uh, say again, uh -huh. say again. Is, I lost is, you. Is say again, please. Say again, please. I lost you. I said to um, you, isn't it Muhammad was a terrorist? What you said? Go ahead. I look like he have a bad internet. Are you there? Hello. Yes. Close. Hello? Close. Close all the apps. Yes. If yes. Have, I am. If, you have, yes. if you have apps running, please close so you can have better internet. All right. Now, wasn't your prophet a terrorist himself? Now the question is: Did did Islam started from Prophet Muhammad? Okay, hold on. Why you are avoiding the answer? I mean, is your prophet himself was a terrorist? Yes or no? Or are you saying to me that your your prophet is not a Muslim, or he was prophet, a bad Muslim? Prophet Muhammad was not a terrorist. Prophet Muhammad was not a terrorist. Well, I have a hadith now, in front of me. The, the, hadith, the hadith in the front of me it says Muhammad saying, "I've been victorious uh, by no, terrorism." No. Uh, okay. Okay, no, no, no. Let, 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 let me get this straight. Let me get this straight first. Let me get this straight. Mm. Let me get this straight. Mm -hmm. I believe. No, no, no. Let's get this. Let's get this straight. I believe in the Quran as the as the word of God. Okay, so you don't believe in the Hadith? Do you? you are you getting me? You don't believe? No, in the I don't follow the Hadith because okay, what if I show you Muhammad, Muhammad? Okay, what if I show you Muhammad is a terrorist from the Quran? Is that fine with you? No, if you're going to quote verses for me from Quran, I'm 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 definitely aware. I don't hear you. What? Say again. If I'm going to say, say, again say again. I said to you, what if I show Hello? you? What if I, I said to you, what if I show you from the Quran that Muhammad was a terrorist? What you say? What you are going to show me now? Eh? You are going to you are going to read a, a, a verse out of context for me. No, I, 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 can, I, I, I will let you read for me. I will let you read for me. I will not read for you. It doesn't matter. You read. No, I know what you are going to read, and I can, I can also read also a verse also for that quote that that said that you should not like uh, when you read Surah sixty. When you go to Surah sixty, my those, friend, uh, uh, no, those, I want you eights. I want you to read for me as much as you wish. Chapter, uh, chapter three, eights. chapter three. Chapter 3, verse number 151, it says, We will cast terror in the heart of those no, who disbelieve. No. Hello, can you read? Hmm. Can you read yeah, for okay. me? Can you give it to me, me in the context? Me for you. Can you give it to me and the answer of this? Why Allah will cast terror? How he cast terror? Why Allah need terror? Yes. Why? Yes. Okay. 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 Should I, let, me, let me read Surah. Chapter 3, verse number 151. Hello? I hear you. Chapter 3. Hello? Verse... I hear you, my friend. Okay, I want to read Surah 16. Read for me this one first, and we go to any, any chapter you wish. No okay. problem. Okay, I want to read 
60 verse 8. What what chapter you want? Surah 60 verse 8. Are you hearing me? Are you chapter, hearing me? chapter 60 verse number 8. You said right? Surah 60 verse 8. 16 or 60? Yes. Yeah. 16? Yes. 16 or 60? It, it, it's, it's, it's. I love those not for 60. 60 verse number 8. Okay. Read, read for us. Hello? Read Hello? for us, read for us. Okay. Hmm. Read for us, go ahead. Hello? Well, he is uh, using Nigerian uh, network, so I don't blame him. Are you there, my friend? He's gone. Let us try to call him back. All right, look like he is there. You see, the code for your verses have nothing to do with our topic. Muhammad, he have Islam in stages. When Muhammad is weak, he cannot fulfill his attack and his killing. So he say, well, we will not uh, fight those who didn't fight only those who uh, who kicked you out from your land, right? Okay. But this is what Muhammad did. At that stage, Muhammad was trying to send a message to the rest. I am not an enemy for you. I want to fight my people who they kick me out of my land. But the fact nobody kicked him out from his land. Muhammad the coward himself, he ran away because simply people don't like him no more. He got busted. When Muhammad, he got strong, then he attacked all the people. The Muslims they call for us or they quote for us abrogated verses in the Quran to fool us. Yes, my friend, go ahead. Okay, I, I was uh, reading from uh, Surah 60, verse 8. Okay. I was talking about tolerance, as in fighting not against people that 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 did not fight fight against you on account of your religion. Hmm. Uh, so, but this isn't, it, but, now, isn't it the Quran, but isn't it the Quran says anyone who refuses Allah Messenger and His religion is an enemy and he is in war with you? No, no, you're not getting it. See, in in Islam, there is no compulsion religion. Surah chapter two, verse two fifty says said it that there is no more compo uh, com uh, compulsion religion. My friend, that verse, Even the Muslims, that verse, 10, the Muslims yes. they quote for me is a stupid verse. Have nothing to do with what you are saying. That verse, Muhammad was saying that if you try to force your children not to convert to Islam, you have no right to do so. But you cannot. Okay. This is not about the Muslims. You cannot force somebody to 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 uh, uh, to convert to Islam. It's the opposite. You cannot force you cannot force okay. someone not to convert to Islam. In Islam, let me ask okay. you. According to Islam, if a person he he leave Islam, what is the punishment? Punishment if you leave Islam. Hmm. I I I I cannot I cannot say the way the Quran gave a punishment for for leaving the uh, uh, Islam. Hmm. But what may I know? Now, from the Quran, I don't know if you're with me. Hello, I hear you. Go ahead. 
What is the punishment? What is the punishment, my friend? What is the punishment? Let us let us let us let us not to go around the bushes. What is the punishment no, I, for I leaving? You about that what is the no, punishment, you're, you're saying, my friend? What is the punishment? Is, you are saying that they, hmm. they force people to become to, to become a, a Muslim. My friend, what is the now, punishment is for Islam? leaving Islam, my friend? Let us answer the question first. What is the punishment for leaving from the Islam? Quran, from the Quran. Give me anywhere. According to you, as a Muslim, what is the punishment? The, for... the, the, see, God, it's only God that decides that decides on who. On who is going to believe or not, and the final judgment for the person, because Quran, because Surah chapter ten verse ninety nine said, "I don't hear you." You see, he will not give an answer. How Hello? do you say to me? How do you say to me in Islam there is no terror? And in Islam what, there is no. I'm trying to my, answer. My, uh, 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 listen, listen, that's... listen, listen. I am asking you a very simple question. What is the penalty okay. according to Islam? You as a Muslim. According to your understanding, what is the penalty of leaving Islam? The punishment is in the hands of God. It is God who will decide what to do with the person. The punishment is the punishment of God? Because, yes, because it is not, it's not a man. A man cannot decide. Any, whosoever that is telling you that you have to maybe you flog the person or denounce the person or, or uh, take away the properties of the person, uh, that the person is right. I'm not, I'm not, getting, left, uh, I'm not getting your answer. What is, the, pen, what is the punishment? Those are laws what of is the punishment? Okay, what is the punishment if I leave Islam according to Islam? According to the Quran, according to the Quran, it is God that will decide for whosoever leaves Islam. It's God who decides who will leave Islam. Yeah, as no, it's God who will decide the punishment for whosoever. Oh, where, 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 is, where is the verse that says Allah will decide the punishment? Can you show it to me? Okay, let, uh, let, let me let me let me let me read let me read a particular verse from ten uh, Surah ten verse ninety nine. It says, "And had your Lord willed, those on earth would have believed all of them together. So will you then compel mankind until they become believers?" Okay. It is not for any person to believe hmm. except by the belief of Allah. Okay. And Let me show you from the Quran. The Let me show you from the Quran that, is, that you are ignorant about your religion. The Quran say clearly that if you want them to stay, if, you, if the, the the way for you to stay as a as a uh, as a life is to convert to Islam and to do the prayer. Read with me the Quran, chapter nine, verse number eleven. Do you see it? But if they repent and establish the worship and pay the zakat, the translation here is, is, is false, then don't kill them and they are your brothers in religion. So what is the condition not to kill them? If they convert and they, are you, do you hear me? Hello? Abdul, are you there? Hello. Oh boy. Let us call him again. Hello? Hear me now. Okay. In chapter 9, verse number 11, it says that if you fight them and they do pay the zakat and they accomplish the prayer, then don't kill them. They are your brothers. Does it say that? Yeah. Okay. Yes. So what does that mean? That's mean if you are, what, what is required for you to stay alive and the Muslims will not kill you? If you pay the zakat and if you establish the prayer and if you are doing what Islam teach you to do, then we will not kill you. Correct? Mm. Yes. Okay. Yes. The you, verse you, after you it, hold on. The verse, the verse means. after it, the verse after it is saying, but if they violate their oath, what is the oath they are talking about? This is taking shahada. If they violate their oath after their covenant, what is the covenant no, before? Hold on, no, hold on. The no, no, hold on. Yeah, it's explained. No, 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 don't lie. Don't lie. It's in the front of you. It says, if they repent, establish no, regular. Who is the one? Who is the one is going to establish the prayer? Please, 
Abdul, please, Abdul, please, who please, is the please, one? Stop, no, explain please. to me. Who is the one required to establish Islamic prayer? You give me the answer, please. No, the oath. You're, you're saying the oath. If they go against the oath. My friend, my I'm friend, my friend, my friend, I'm asking you. You are the one who says to me, don't think, take things as out of context, right? Okay, the context in front of us, the verse number 11, verse number 12. Now, if they establish the prayer, if they repent and they establish the prayer and they do it as a cat, there we go. <laughs> we lost the connection again. Are you there? Hello. Hello. Okay, my friend. So yes, I, I am. If I they am. if they pray, if they pray, we don't kill them. If they pray and Hello? pray, Zakat, I am. okay. Do you hear me? You hear me? Hello. I hear you. Do you hear me? Hello. I hear you. Do you hear me? Oh boy. Are you there? Hello? I Hello? Hear you. The network is breaking. No problem. Hello? Do you hear me now? Hello? Hello? Do you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. I can okay. hear you now. As you see in verse number 11, it says that if they pray to Allah and establish the regular Surah, prayer. Surah. Sorry, sorry, Surah chapter what? Surah chapter what? Ch chapter 9, verse number 11. So if they establish the prayer and they practice the zakat, they pay the zakat, and they practice the faith as Allah told, then don't kill them. They are your brothers in religion. But if they violate their oath, what is the violate of their oath? They okay. don't practice no more. They don't pray no more. They don't pay the zakat. Then we kill them. Okay, okay, okay. Look at look at look at this state the thirteen of the same ch uh, uh, chapter you are reading from. Mm. Are you seeing the thirteen? They said, "Will you not fight a people who have violated their oaths mm. and intended to expel the messenger?" Yeah, because they, they left Islam. Do, because they, they left Islam. Yeah, they, they left Islam. That's what I'm saying. They are Muslims. They are Muslims, and now they, they establish a, uh, what he's saying for you. Those who don't want to practice islam we kill them those if they no, start it no, says in the front of no, you okay why no, you no. okay hold on hold on so if if a person he is uh, uh, he's against allah and he practiced the salah and he practiced the zakah and he convert to islam you will not kill him correct yes now do you know why okay. do you know why but then you, but then it says you know, no listen, but listen, then it says you know. listen listen what what is the verse after it's saying if they are became kuffar, does it say the word kuffar there? Here we go again. <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> Hmm? That's endless. I like I think I'm wasting my time here. Take care, my friend. Take care. You see, and this is why they say I don't believe in the hadith that in order to avoid the stupidity, which is going to get them busted. So I don't believe in the hadith, and this is the only way they think they can get away with this, but you cannot. You cannot. Who are you to say I believe in this and I don't believe in this? The penalty, all the Muslims around the world agree that the penalty of leaving Islam is death. The Quran used the word terrorism. Not only that, even you cut the fingertips of those who don't believe in Allah. Muhammad he ordered to fight in chapter 9 verse number 29 the same chapter for this guy who is not able to call me and contact me The same chapter he says why he want to kill the Christian not because they are fighting him the Christian never fought Muhammad Muhammad is the one who sent letters to the Christians To the Roman at that time and he forced those who they are Christians in the Arabian Peninsula if they are exist to convert to Islam Fight those who do not believe in Allah Not the one is fighting you the one was fighting him according to Muslim books and even the Quran, it was the Mushrikeen.
the Christian did not have a war with Muhammad never attack him never did any harm to him fight them and kill them unless they pay sub they, they, they pay the jizya so they lie to you and they say we fight you only because you kicked us from 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 our land well did the Ethiopian kick you out from the from your land did the Roman kick you out from your land until the end of the seven centuries which mean more than a hundred years after Muhammad not a single person speak Arabic in Jerusalem not a single person speak Arabic in Damascus not a single person speak Arabic in Iraq because simply there's no Arab there it is you who took their land Muhammad he sent the three letters to three kings saying convert or else Muhammad he established a covenant with the disbelievers and he said to them we will have a peace agreement in the same chapter when Muhammad gets stronger he said declaration of immunity from Allah and his messenger to those pagan who you have contracted a mutual alliance so here we go we wash my hand from all the agreement I will not kill you unless you fight me declaration Muhammad now he became strong he signed a peace agreement until he is ready to kill them all and now he is ready to go in the same chapter it says verse number 191 Uh, actually in verse number chapter 2 not same chapter let us go this chapter is very long very funny disgusting at the same time so you will see here Muhammad saying the following okay here we go fight for the cause of Allah who fight with you or fight you but who is the one who fight you christian prince now is in war with allah kill him according to islam anyone who don't accept islam is in war with allah you see the muslim they try to fool you says fight those who fight you but what they will not tell you that the second you refuse islam you are in war with allah muhammad he said that the land is there's two three lands there's a land of islam which under the sharia law and there is a land of which is a land of peace and there's a land of war which is not under the sharia law as simple as that and then the land the, the land number three it is occupied by muslim but they don't practice sharia law they call it the land of fitna so anyone don't believe in islam he's your enemy this is why the quran in chapter 9 verse number uh, 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 20, 23 it says take not your fathers and your brothers as a friends now here in, in number 90, 190 and 91, it says, slay them wherever you catch them. And then it says, but if they seize, forgive them. How we forgive them? Is that because Muhammad being nice? No. Fight them until there is only one Islam. You see here it says, until the torment, a, a, a tomlet or oppression. There's not, it doesn't say that. It says fitna. Fitna is a chaos. So it's not going to be chaos between us, between the society, and no, uh, uh, no problem. And then all the religion will become religion of Allah. Look at the translation, doesn't say that. Change the translator. You will see right away the translation change. Let us see someone else. Or let us see, yeah, I don't know, all of them they are funny. Ahmed Raza. Khan, let us see. This is new. 
and fight them until there's no mischief remains that's better translation mischief what mischief meant is not to accept Islam and only Allah is worshipped so do you see what the mischief meant is when they say to you we fight only those who fight us fighting them is not to accept Allah This is why this Abdul, he tried to run away from what Muhammad said, I've been ordered to fight and kill all mankind until they accept Islam. That's why they try to run away from it and say, oh, I, don't, I believe only in the Quran. But the Quran is in total agreement with this. I have been commanded to fight against the people till till what till they stop fighting me now till they, they became for peace no actually the Quran forbid the Muslims from crying out for peace and I will show you the verse so I have been commanded that I would fight against the people till they declare that there's no God but Allah so what is the condition to to cease fire is to declare there's no God but Allah and what else and when they profess that there's no God but Allah their blood and their money is granted by security so Muhammad is saying clearly if you don't convert to Islam I will kill you I will take your money Muhammad in different hadith he make it more clear that even if you don't pray if you don't do zakat if you don't do salat if you don't even eat as we eat if you don't pray in the direction of we pray still he will kill you even if you say shahada I have been ordered to kill not to fight by the way here the word qatala I mean fight to kill the people till they say none the right have to worship say but Allah and if they say so pray like our prayer face our qibla slaughter as we slaughter then and only then their blood and their property is secured from our hands Muhammad is a thief so if you want your blood and your property to be secured from Muhammad from taking it and killing you Arabian your wife convert to Islam and pray as he pray and he slaughter as he slaughter and that's it Muslim they quote for your verses which is not valid no more as an example can a Muslim cry for peace Absolutely not. A Muslim only can sign a peace agreement only if he is weak, the same as Muhammad did in chapter 9. Be wary and faint hurt, uh, hurted, crying for peace when you should be the uppermost. What does that mean? Israel today is uppermost, not the Muslims. So it's okay to sign peace agreement with Israel. But this is not a peace agreement, this is temporarily. Enter we are the uppermost and then we attack back. This is what Muhammad did. So the Muslim, what they try to do, they quote to you for your verses, which is abrogated not to be followed, where Muhammad, as a war monger, he used as a stages to accomplish his kingdom. So when he was weak, he had no problem to sign peace agreement. Fight not those who don't fight you. Because you don't want to tell the people, I'm not going to fight all of you. And then he said, fight all mankind until they say there's no God but Allah. So the agenda of Muhammad come in stages and all the Muslims agree in that. In the beginning, Muhammad actually was not violence because he was weak. He cannot be violent. They will kill him in two seconds. But Muhammad, after he got the warrior as Saalik, as Saalik simply are the outlaw. You see, if you go in the hadith, we search for word Saalik. You can search for the word Saalik in Wikipedia. Saalik simply is the outlaw. People who commit murder in order their tribes to avoid the penalty, uh, which means. Because Arab they seek revenge. If you kill one of our tribe, we will not let it go until you give us the guy or we will kill someone from you. 
So if somebody is a murderer or a rapist, like this, see from your tribe, somebody here raped somebody from my tribe. So what we do now? You have to give me that guy so we can kill him. If you don't do that, then we will kidnap a woman from yours and we will rape her. This is what they do. So in order to avoid such a thing, they kick out their son who committed that crime, who is a murderer or a rapist. And they, they announce that this person have nothing to do with our tribe no more and his blood is for free. You want to get him? Go get him. We wash our hands. So you have no revenge with us. Those are the ones who, adjo who join Islam with Muhammad. A bunch of criminals. And look what it says in Arabic and I change any Muslim to say I am lying. Abshiru ya ma'ashara sa'alik al-muhajirin. Sa'alik al-muhajirin. Salik is the criminals. Muhammad, he have nothing but the criminals who follow him. And Muhammad, he sent a letter to the Salik saying to them, for now you fight for no reason except money, but if you join me, you fight for Allah and money. Because you will get your reward. What is the reward? We're the same. But now you became a hero because you are fighting for God. So you are a criminal. Join me. And look how the Muslim translate the Sa'alik. They translate it as the poor immigrants. <laughs> they are not poor, and they are not immigrant. There's a very well-known war. It's called the War of Apostate. The War of Apostate, and I changed the Muslim to say to me that Abu Bakr was an idiot and he is not a good Muslim too. When Muhammad, he passed away, or killed by poison, as the Hadith says, Many people stop paying zakat and stop praying to Allah and they don't want to be Muslims because simply they've been forced to convert to Islam. And then right away the gang, the Sa'alik of Muhammad, the one who they are making living just from killing, they decide to go in war to force again people paying money. And a Muslim like this guy from Nigeria who do not know how to read two Arabic words together, he's trying to say to us, oh no, no, Islam does not teach that. Muhammad he raped, Muhammad he kidnapped, Muhammad, he stole even children's. Muhammad, he killed little children. Imagine the Muslim, they say to us that we don't kill children. That's a big fat lie. This is a Jew. He's been forced into Islam, speaking about what happened to him. He is from Bani Quraidah. I was among the captives of Bani Quraidah. They, the companions, examine us and those who had begun to grow here in their pubic area were killed. That's mean you are just nine years old. You know, I told you, Middle Eastern, we are hairy. Since early is you have a hair on your body. So if you are nine or eight years old and you have some hair there, they kill you. Do you see it? And this is terrorism. Okay, now they are not fighting you. You see that they see the lie. They say to us 
that we fight only those who fight us okay now those are your prisoners even the Quran says that take no prisoner kill them all take no prisoners <clears throat> look at this it is not fitting for the prophet that he should have a prisoners of war so what he do with them he kill them <laughs> is that terror or not is that Quran or this is a weak Quran what do you mean kill the prisoners why you want to kill them they surrender their arms the same what happened to the Jews the stupid Jews they put their arms down they thought he is going to be a man of just he's claiming to be a prophet of God okay we will not fight you he slaughtered more than 900 men after this put down their arms stupid at least if you fight you will kill from them from the enemy as much as you can before they kill you this is why if you fight an Islamic army never surrender you saw what ice is doing they burn them alive they split them pieces they torture them they crucify them they cut their hands why you want to torture yourself fight until you die with honor don't surrender like a goat with no honor As you see, it's not fitting for a prophet to take prisoners. So what do we do them? Kill them. That is not a hadith. And this is again about apostasy, but we did not go there because this guy he he hang up. We did not reach that point. You see, when you want to get a Muslim busted, you have to go step by step, right? But anyway, if you go to chapter 18, verse number 74, you will see that the child who because he will leave Islam, the Prophet Al Khadr Allah order him to kill the person. But he's a boy. This is apostasy. Then they proceed until they met with the young man. He slew him. Moses said. By the way, this is this is a lie. It doesn't say a young man. What young man? It's a boy. Change the translator. The translation will change. You see, we have to change translation like, you know, we jump like monkeys from branch to branch because not even one Muslim is honest. Here we go. Here became boy. There became a man. There's a huge difference between a boy and a young man. Huge difference. So they went until when they meet a boy and they slew him. Musa said to Al-Khadr, which Allah, Allah, he sent Musa to learn from Al-Khadr. And he said to him, why you did such a thing? This is evil. This guy is, is an innocent boy. This is a modest slaughter. Why you did that? Al-Khadr, who is a higher prophet from Allah, he said to him, to Musa, you do not understand. I told you, you will not have patience with me. Then they continue, and then after... The, the, the prophet al-Khadr, he decided to explain to the full Musas what's happening about the boy. I said, as, as of the, for the boy, his parents were believers and we feared that he should make a disobedience and he become in disbelief. You will notice here the word kufr is taken off. It says, what kufran? He will become a kafir. Change the translation again. We have to change the translation every every what you can do. Let us go. Let us see this guy Mo Dudi. Dudi Dudi. As 
for the boy his parents were people of faith and we fear that lest he should plague them with transgression and disbelief <laughs> and here the funny the the boy did not even leave Islam yet yet he been slaughtered and he's a boy Oh, we can show stones of reference. And since when you want to kill a child because you fear that one day he will leave Islam? What about you? You wait until he leaves Islam. And they say to me that apostasy is not in the Quran. We can show you there's tons of verses. We are not done. But this guy, he cannot call me and, you know, funny Muslims. But I'm sure he is listening. He's watching. <laughs> 